everybody, today's video is going to be an eye makeup tutorial using the new Morphe collab with Kathleen Lights. It is a beautiful palette, I've been using it almost every day and that is exactly how I created this look. So if you want to duplicate this, just keep watching. First things first, I'm going to prime my eyelids and you want to make sure that you get that primer all over the eyelid, all the way up to the brow so that your shadow will stay all day long. I'm going to start off with this beautiful orange transition shade and using my Sonia Kashuk blending brush I'm just going to buff that into my crease up towards the brow bone so it's not really right in the center of the crease but just keep blending it in around that area. Next I'm going in with this light purple shade and using an elf crease brush I'm going just a little bit farther down into the crease and buffing that into the orange just to start creating some depth. This look is all about blending, so just blend to your heart's content. Now I'm going to go in with this very deep burgundy color, which is beautiful. And using my Sonia Kashuk crease brush, I am hitting the true crease right here. And this crease brush is actually smaller than any other one I've had before, so that I can make sure that I definitely get it in the exact spot that I want it. And as always, just keep blending. Now to buff out some of those harsh lines that I just made, I'm going in with that orange transition shade again and using my Sonia Kashuk blending brush, I'm blending all those harsh lines out. Now I'm going to use this beautiful light shimmer shade that's in this palette and using a Sonia Kashuk precision brush, I'm just going over my entire lid and then I'm going to blend that out. By the way, this has ended up being one of my favorite shadows in the palette. I absolutely love it. Flipping that same brush over, I'm going in with this beautiful lilac shimmer shade and I am going to hit right above that white that I just hit. Now using the black eyeshadow in the palette, I'm going in with an e.l.f. shadow brush and just creating plenty of depth in that outer corner. I'm placing the eyeshadow right in the corner and then buffing it out above and below. Now to just blend that in a little bit, I'm going back in with this light purple and my blending brush and hitting that entire black shade that I just put on. Now using this bone shade, I'm going to hit right below the brow and also in the inner corner just to add some highlight. Before I finish the rest of my eyes, I am going to go ahead and put makeup on the rest of my face. So this foundation that I'm using is actually a new foundation. It is the Born This Way Foundation in Snow and I absolutely love it. Along with that, I'm also using the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in Very Fair and I'm just applying that using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge. To set all this, I'm just using my NYC Loose Translucent Powder which is the bomb.com and I'm just setting my entire face. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number three. Right after I'm done filling them in, I am just going to sculpt them as always. Once I finish this, I am gonna go in and contour my face just a little bit with the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And then I'm going to be using a Milani Rose Blush and an e.l.f. Shimmer Highlight. And as always, I will have all of the links to the products I have used in this tutorial down below. To finish my eyes, I'm going to start off using that light purple shade again and using the e.l.f. crease brush. I'm just going to lay that shadow right underneath the waterline. Going back in with that deep burgundy color, I'm going to be using a Sonia Kashuk smudge brush and hitting even closer to the waterline. Of course, with this brush, it is a lot easier to make a precise line. So that is exactly what I do right underneath my eyes. Now to add some beautiful highlight, I'm going in with my favorite shade again and using that precision brush once more from Sonia Kashuk, I'm going to hit the inner crease quite a bit to make my eyes pop and also just lay a little bit right below the brow. Here's a little tidbit. Lately, I've been going in with my highlight shade and hitting right above the top of the arch, above the brow actually, 
and it has just been making my eyebrows pop. I love it so much. Now today for my liner, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. gel liner and with a Sonia Kashuk angled brush that is very, very thin so you can be precise, I'm just going to create that wing up on the top and follow down onto the lid. And of course, if you're having trouble with your eyeliner, I know that it is definitely not an easy thing to do. I don't have a tutorial up for a gel liner in particular. However, I do have my Beauty 101 tutorial on a winged liner that you can check out on my channel as well. Also, if you're wondering why I decided to go with a gel liner today, I know typically I just use a liquid liner. However, there's something like really deep and smooth about a gel liner and that's exactly what I wanted to go for today. Typically, I mean, I love a liquid liner. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But for today's look, I thought a gel liner would suit it best. Now I'm just filling in my waterline with this beautiful camera angle for you to look at. I'm going to curl my lashes and using a Maybelline mascara, which I'm not sure the name of, but I'll have the link down below. I am just going to coat my lashes with some mascara. To complete the look, I'm just throwing on some lipstick and a little bit of gloss and you are ready to go. is it if you liked what you saw today go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also if you have any questions or want to know anything about this look go ahead and leave me a comment down below and of course if you really liked what you saw today go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching love you bye